Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about bar graphs. So these bar graphs simply help us to recognize patterns or trends far more easily than looking at the complicated data. So here I have created two bar graphs, vertical bar graph and the horizontal bar graph. This bar graph shows favorite type of movie of number of people. On the Y axis, we have number of people and on the X axis, we have genre. Then this horizontal graph, it is the same thing. It's just that I have plotted it horizontally. Here genre is on the Y axis and number of people is on the X axis. Why do we need horizontal bar graphs when we have these vertical bar graphs? Because sometimes the X axis labels are too long to appear clearly on the X axis. That is why we sometimes use horizontal bar graphs instead of vertical bar graphs. If you quickly analyze this graph, most number of people enjoy watching romantic movies and the least number of people like drama movies. Let me know in the comment section which type of movies you like. And now let's see how we can create it step by step. So I have opened my PyCharm IDE and I'm gonna write my code inside this. You can use any editor or IDE of your choice. Firstly, we will be installing one external module which will help us to plot graph. So go to your terminal, here type pip install matplotlib. It's already installed for me. Once you install it, then we can import it. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt so here i am representing this module as plt now before plotting a graph we need to have some data for which we will be plotting a graph here we are going to create two lists inside which we will be adding values for the x-axis and the y-axis firstly we will be creating a vertical bar graph so on the x-axis i will be adding all these journal and on the y axis i will be adding number of people so here 30 people like comedy movies 20 like action movies 40 like romantic movies 15 like drama movies and then 25 like sky fi movies now we have the data and we can plot the graph so i'm going to use the module plt dot bar method here we will pass the x axis value so on x axis i will add journal and then on the y axis i will add people then we can add x axis label so i'm going to use module dot x label and here the label will be journal similarly i will add y axis label And then I will add plot title. So I'll use module dot title method. And the title will be and at last I will show the plot. So I'll use module dot show method. Let's see. So this is how we create a bar graph. Isn't it simple? We can also change the width and the color of these bar graphs. So inside this bar method, by default, the width is 0 0.8. So we can change that width to 0 0.2. Let me show you. This is how it looks. If you want, you can provide different width to each bar. For that, you will have to pass the width in the form of a list. Suppose first bar width is 0 0.2, second bar width is 0 0.5 and so on. Here I have provided different widths to each bar. In the same way we can add color. So here color will be red. So this color will be applied to all the bars. And if you want different colors for each bar, then again you will have to pass that in the form of a list. 
if we pass only two colors to a list suppose red and yellow so on alternate bars we have red and yellow color here if you want different colors for each bar then you will be passing different colors there like this let me show you now let's see how we can create horizontal graphs but firstly instead of passing list here let me store the list in some variable i have created width and the colors variable inside which i have added width and the colors for each bar and now we can pass these two variables here so width equals to width variable and color equals to colors variable and now i'm going to create horizontal bar for the same data and instead of bar method there is bar h method that help us to create horizontal bar graph here we have to pass what will be on the y axis and then what will be on the x axis then instead of width we have to pass height here and this width variable i'll change it to height and y label has to be generate and the x label will be number of people that's it let's see so this is how horizontal bar graph is created so that's it for this video i hope you liked it thank you for watching